Hey besties, it's Becky here with Bestie Becky's Crafts and today I'm going to do a tutorial on a flip flap mini album. It's kind of a weird name, but it's a great way to get started making a mini album because it's super super simple. I'm going to show you how to make the base and then you can just add to it however you would like to personalize it to what you need. So I gave one of these as a gift to my bestie for her birthday. Uh, hers was all decorated up and this I have started decorated, decorating but I have not finished it. But it just gives you kind of an idea of what it looks like. Um, but I'll, sh I'll, like I said, like I'll show you the base and then this is just the matting that I put on top of it. So, um, there's my little ribbon. I'll show you what it, what it looks like just in case you hadn't seen her video. So here's the front cover and here's the back cover and I use ribbon to close it. You could use magnet to close it if you like, or Velcro, whatever you are most comfortable with. And you open it to the first page, and here's the back of the first page, and then this is also the back. So this whole piece here is one piece, and I'll show you, I'll show you that here in a minute. And then. you open it up and it opens here and opens here and you could add a pocket, you could add a band, you could up at the top, you could glue something that flips down, you could add pockets over here, but you could decorate the whole thing, you could kind of do whatever you'd like and you can close it this way if you want and then the side flips open. This is another page. See that? And it's like the same as this one, only it's just different pattern paper that I matted it with. And you can do the same. You could you could put a, a page that flips down over here, pocket, decorate it however you would like. All right, and it closes. You could even put a clasp clasp there if you would like to keep it closed and then this is just a flat piece again you could put um, a piece of paper up here that flips down um, pockets band whatever you'd like you could have it close this way and leave these this way um, there's kind of all different ways and you know things that you can do with it. You can close it different ways, just kind of depending on how you decorate it and what you want it to do. So um, it's a really simple book. It looks complicated, but it's really not. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So let me go ahead and close it up here. Like I said, you could close it up with Velcro, put Velcro here and Velcro here or a magnet here and a magnet here, but I like this good old ribbon works easiest for me. All right, and let's go ahead and get started. So for the base, I chose white, and you can choose any color that you'd like. And they're 12 by 12 inch pieces. Let's see if I'm zoomed out all the way, yep, yeah. okay. They're 12 by 12 inch pieces, and you will need three of them to make the base. Okay, so for one of them, I will use my paper cutter and I am going to cut it at six and a quarter inches by 12. And this is going to be the outside cover of my book. Okay. Now if I don't have a paper cutter, I just measure out six and a quarter inches and six and a quarter inches. Use my ruler, 
draw a line and freehand cut it. Okay? So, there's the front cover of my book. And then I am going to cut a, another piece, six and a quarter by six. So, that one doesn't work. So, let's go ahead and cut this at six inches. And I'm going to set this six by 12 inch piece aside because I'm going to need it. So, I cut it at six inches and then I'm going to cut it at six and a quarter inches. Alright, and I'm going to set this piece aside. And this is actually the front cover of my book. Alright, so I'll put that aside with my back outside of my book. And then I'm going to need three pieces of 6 by 12. And this one is already at 6 inches. So I just cut it, so it's already at 6 by 12. So then I'm going to take a piece of 12 by 12 card stock and just cut it in half. Cut it at 6 inches. So I have two pieces that are 6 by 12, which actually gives me three pieces of 6 by 12. So I can put my paper cutter to the side for now. And then I have these two pieces left, which I can use for another project. So I'm just going to put those off to the side. And then let's take our five pages that we've cut. Alright, so we don't need to do anything with our six by six and a quarter front cover piece. Alright, so set that to the side. Now, our three six by twelve pieces, I'm going to set off to the side too because we're going to go ahead and work with our six and a quarter by twelve inch piece. And I'm going to take my scoreboard. And line it up at the top. So the 12 inch side is up at the top. My 6 and a quarter side is over here. And I'm going to score at... So you can see. I'm going to score at 2 and 3 quarters. and at three inches and then at nine inches and nine and a quarter. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side. Now those score lines are for the side seams of my book here, this little quarter inch so that it has space for all my pages to fit in. Right. And then my three pieces that are 6 by 12, I'm going to score each of these pieces at 3 inches and 9 inches. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same three inches and nine inches and then my last one three inches and nine inches now if you don't have a scoreboard if you're new to crafting and don't have a scoreboard yet you can take a regular old mouse pad. I just have an old mouse pad that I use for crafting and this is called an embellishing tool. That's right. It has a little circle on the end and another circle down here and I'm going to use a smaller circle and what I would do is I would measure over to three inches with my ruler. 
this way and mark it with a pencil like this and then I would do the same thing mark it with a pencil and then I would just line up my pencil lines and score it with my embellishing tool all right if I don't have an embellishing tool you could use a pen without the ink out but you'll have to make adjustments on how far you come out um trying to think what else you could use you could probably use um a toothpick as long as the edge wasn't too sharp um, maybe the end of a paintbrush a, the end of a pen maybe if it wasn't too big like this one's a small one that might work too might be kind of hard to hold but that might work too to follow along just something that is not going to go through your paper that's just going to make an indent in your paper so you know where to fold um, you could use your bone folder if you have a bone folder that would be perfect to make your line like so okay um, then once you have your lines made we're going to crease at all of them. So let's crease and just use our bone folder to get a nice crease. And as you see, these pieces will meet right in the center. We're going to do that on all three of those inside pieces that we scored at three inches and nine inches. So, we have our inside pages scored. Now let's score our outside pages. And remember this is where, I guess you call it the spine of our book is. So we've done the spine of our book, the outside cover, and then we have our front cover, okay? So first thing we do get this out of the way, is we have our three inside pages all scored and ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue these two pages together and then these two pages together to get the inside of our book. Okay, so I'm going to use just a wet glue. You could use whatever glue you're comfortable with. If you want to use tape glue, that's fine. I like just having a little wiggle room. We're going to line up these pieces as close as we can. And push them together to get a good seal. Alright, so there is our one side. Then we're going to do the same on the other side.
line it up. Make sure we get lined up really good. And push it down. Give it a good rub there. Oops, to make sure it's sealed. Then I moved it. Okay. So there's the center of our book. And see? These two fold together, these two fold together. You can fold it in, you can fold this side in, you can do it the other way. Alright, however you feel, just like in the inside of this book. This is the section that we made right now. This one right here, the center of our book. Because this is like where those two were folded, and these two are folded, and then this was just decorated plain. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it back up. And then I'm going to take what is the outside of my book, and my poor paper trimmer. I need a new blade. Alright, we're going to open it up to the inside, and I'll use my pencil. You have your two lines, an inside line and an outside line, outside line, so that these are our quarter inch seam. Can you see that? And we are going to want to center our book in between the two inside seams on the flat part and our book is a little bit wider because it was at six and a quarter inches and this is only six inches so we need to make sure that we center it this way also. So we're going to center the middle of our book within the middle of the outside cover. But we want to make sure that we only put glue on the back side of this piece, the middle of the book. See? So we only want to make sure that we put glue on the back side of this. So if you want, you can put an X on here so you know that that's where you're going to put your glue and that's what side you're going to glue down. So you can go ahead and close it back up. And put your glue on. My glue bottle's getting low. Okay. And it doesn't matter, you know, which way we which way we glue it this way or or this way as long as the folds are over here and all of the pages you can see they're on the edge. I don't know if that made sense. And we're going to glue it down. Kind of fold up our edge. Make sure we're within that side and that side. So we have room to close our book and also that we are centered this way which I could go up a little bit more if my glue will let me. There we go. Alright, so my book closes and when you open it there's our pages and it's exactly how it should be. This is our but my book this way. This is our flap right here. It just closes. So we need our front cover and that's what this piece is. And we cut it to six and a quarter by six. So you want to make sure you line up your sides correctly. So the six and a quarter and the six and a quarter line up because your book is six inches wide. And I'm just going to put glue on this spot. I'm not going to put it on this because I only need to glue down this section of that, of that front cover. Okay. 
and make sure I have my six and a quarter sides matching. And I line it up along that folded edge. You can do it is open it and make sure that you're lined up and you're not covering that fold. Just like so. And there you have your book. Isn't that simple? So our front cover, our little back piece to help keep it closed, and even if you wanted to, you could put this little flap on the outside as your closure, and put your Velcro or magnet or whatever here, or even your ribbon, or you could do the, um, where you put the string, let me see. Or you could do like this where you have the string to, to close it there if you wanted to. You have a lot of options. But like I said, I like to do the ribbon. So that's how I did that. Now, all I did then was I picked out a, a paper pack that I liked, which happened to be this one. Bella Flora. I think I got it at Michael's. Not sure. Got it last year, and um, I like to do paper packs because all the papers match, and I don't have to. I don't have to think about it. I just pick a paper that I like and go with it. But if you're gonna do ribbon, make sure you put your ribbon down first before you glue your top papers on top, your matted papers on top. Or you can put a paper across to hide the ribbon if you want to hide your ribbon. I like to hide my ribbon and it makes it extra sturdy to do that. So you can do it that way. What else? Um, I think that's about it. And I just, you know, measure to center my ribbon and just use glue to glue it down. And then just make sure it lines up with the back one. And then just decorate how I feel. So I hope my instructions made sense. It's really not a difficult book to make. It's a real easy start for a flip book. As you can see, it looks complicated, but it's really not. Very few steps. And um, you'll have a lot of fun decorating it because you can just kind of do whatever you like. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and keep crafting. Bye.